Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. Wanted to go over my new shave routine with you guys. Actually, it's probably not really like a new routine. Um, it's just different. It's a little bit different now. You know, you guys know, being a reviewer, I've gotten to review um, hundreds of shaving products. I feel like I'm really in a good place with, with all the products that I use. Um, and really getting good shaves that I want to get. So let's get right into what I do now. So first of all, always like to sh shave after a shower. Um, it can't always happen in, in, in life, you, you, you understand that. Sometimes you have to shave without a shower, but I really do like to, you know, get the beard, uh, wash my face in the shower, get the whiskers, uh, you know, steamed up a little bit, get them supple, um, and, and, uh, and they're easier to mow down that way. Um, so that's a great, that's really my pre-shave ritual. Uh, if I can't do that, I do tr still try to wash my face to get the whiskers wet. Um, I've, I've backed off from like pre-shave oils. I feel like they probably do more harm than good. Uh, if they work for you, hey, always do what works for you. You know what I'm saying? Like what works for me might not work for you. Um, but I don't really like them that much. I feel like they could clog the razor. Mm, just not for me. Um, so wash my face and then what am I using in terms of like um, my razor? So there's really two. I had like five or six razors. I was never a huge guy on collecting them. Um, if I'm just like a day shave, like one day I've shaved one day and I'm shaving the next day, you know, I have a Parker. I forget the model number. It's this guy. Um, really simple, you know, DE razor. It's a very much a starter razor. I want to say it's like a $20 razor. Um, it's not super aggressive. It's not really, um, it's also not like, sh like shy. Um, it's about 20 bucks and I think it's fine for a day to day razor. If I'm, um, um, two to three days, no shave. I use the Mercur, uh, the Futor, which I've talked to you guys about a few times. This is without a doubt my, my razor of choice and my favorite razor. Uh, I think that's the Crow model, um, not the satin one. I think it's a $70, $80 razor. I know that there, a, there was a Chinese replica that came out for like $20 or $30 that people rave about. I don't know, I haven't tried it. I, I own this one. It served me very faithfully. I like the level of control I get with it between one and five on the settings. Um, you know, you get that, that gap um, and you can twist this to make, either make the gap closer or further away, depending on how aggressive you wanna be. And if you dial it up to five, you know, it's almost a little bit like shaving with a straight edge. Um, I just feel like it's the razor for me. I like the weight. I like the fact that it, it is aggressive. You can make it as aggressive as you like. You know, other razors, like, I'm not never going to be, I don't believe, a, uh, you know, cutthroat razor guy. Um, I don't like the uh, the blades that, uh, I forget what they're called, but like the, you know, the curved edge where like one piece of the, I have one, I forget the name of them, where one piece of the, the razors, one part of the razor is more exposed, the slants. Not a big slant guy. Um, they don't work for me. These are the razors that work for me. And I really sort of rotate between these two and I can't recommend the Futur strong enough. I know it's like an $80 razor. It should last you for life and it should last generations. It's that good of a piece of steel and machinery. It's really an excellent piece. As far as um, blades go, yeah, I found the blades that I really enjoy uh, and they are these guys. They're feathers from Japan. I'm sure I could test them more out um, and I might like them. These are razor sharp, literally. They're, they do a great job. I find if you're careful, you won't cut yourself. Very easy to cut yourself with these guys and, and an aggressive razor. Hey, you, know, you, you just gotta use a little bit of care and knowing your razor is gonna you know, prevent those sort of things from happening. Um, I bought a, a box of uh, 20 packs on Amazon, on eBay, I wanna say for like 30, $40, maybe 50, but well worth it because it saved me. You know, I've, I've been using a different blade every day uh, for something like um, almost a year, I think, or a little bit less than a year, maybe every uh, every other shave, and I don't shave every day. So this is lasting me about a year. So very affordable when you do the math. As far as the brush I use, you know, I have um, like five brushes, like I have razors. Um, you know, the cheapest probably being uh, an Omega 4 brush, 
uh, you know, one of those really stiff ones, which I, I do enjoy. And the most expensive being a custom Shave Mac um, Silver Tip Badger that uh, my mother got for me my birthday like three or four years ago. That brush feels awesome. It sheds. I don't know if it was made incorrectly or what. It's beautiful. I still use it sometimes, but it's 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 a great brush. I wish it didn't have that problem. I probably would not buy another Shave Mac product, but I also wouldn't use anything anymore other than a synthetic brush. I think that Poisson changed the game when they came out with those synthetic knots. Um, this was sent to me a while back by Doug over at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements from his Crown King line. And to me, this is the best um, brush I've ever used. It's a synthetic knot, it's soft, it uh, has just enough backbone for me. It lathers like a beast. It is the, it, and I believe, I don't think this model is available anymore, but I think you can get, uh, and by the way, this has really nice heft to it. I'm pretty sure you can get a brush like this level of quality for like $15. I think they should stop making animal brushes at this point. Um, I, I, I don't think it's necessary. Leave the animals alone. These kick ass and uh, I would never, I use this every day. Uh, might I go back to some of the other brushes I have in my collection? Yeah, there might be a time I want to switch it up and I go to the Shave Mac or the Omega. Uh, I have a couple others. I have another Omega Badger and I have one of those um, old school Crabtree and Evelyn Badger brushes. It's really good, but it's a really small knot. This for me is my brush of choice. Now, you guys know I have shaving soap after shaving soap. I, I, I guarantee you I have oof, probably a hundred different types of shaving soaps. Uh, I got, when I was really reviewing a lot of shaving stuff, I got so many sent to me. Um, and now it's just like too much effort for me to sit there and whip up um, slather in a, in a bowl, to be honest with you. There's some I just love. Like, I love Wickham Club Cola. Um, I love Katie's Bubbles, the one that's like Fruit Loops. I forget the name of it. Um, there's some uh, Phoenix Artisan ones I love. I love Tabac. Um, Tabac's great. I love the Almond DR Harris. Um, I love this one, which is really one I've been using a lot of, this baby powder vegan soap from Ginger's Garden. If you like the smell of baby powder, this is this is phenomenal. It smells just like Johnson's and Johnson's baby powder and it's a vegan soap. But what I've been doing is um, I, I work near uh, Pastor and so I've just been getting these, these, uh, these shave creams and tubes and it's so much quicker, I feel like, and easier just to squirt a little bit onto this brush and lather that way. Um, I have the Taylor Grapefruit. I have the Windsor from DR Harris. I have the Eucalyptus from DR Harris. I have the Avocado, which is fantastic from um, Taylor. I'm gonna get the Sandalwood from Taylor, the Coconut from Taylor. Um, I just love these. I feel like they're easier for me to work with, and so I've really been using them recently. Again, just a little bit on that brush head, right onto your face, and you're really, you know, saving some time, I feel like, and a lot of mess. So that's really what I'm using. These are like $12. They're super cheap. They last forever. That grapefruit. Taylor really, I think, I, like, I loved Taylor. They were my favorite, like, brand. And then we had this avalanche of artists and shaving houses, and I forgot how fucking good the products that Taylor makes are. They're next level quality. Their scents are fantastic. Um, and I really, I'm gonna get back, I think, to, to buying Taylor products. Their shampoos are good. Uh, everything they make is really good. And then after shaves. Um, you guys know, man, I, I counted before this video, I've got about 50 different types of aftershave. Um, they run the gamut, man, from like old school, you know, British, um, to, to so many, you know, Phoenix was sponsoring videos on this channel forever, so I'm, I probably have 30 Phoenix um, aftershave. Alphine is always going to be one of my favorites. Um, Italian Citrus by Fine, it's just a favorite of mine. Um, there's an Oud from Razor Rock, favorite of mine. But as a fragrance guy, those can clash with, with what I'm wearing fragrance-wise. And um, sometimes I don't want that. And so my after I have a shave, the first thing I usually do, if I feel like that shave was rough at all or from cut, it doesn't happen often that I'm cut, but I can get a rough one in every now and then, I'll take an aloe block, 
just let it soak in some cold water and, and, and run it over my face. And that's sort of the, um, you know, that's the moment of truth, I guess, if you, you want to will. Uh, that's when the rubber hits the road and you sort of see how, how good of a job you did. You know, if, it's, if it, you don't feel any sort of pain or anything like that, hey, you had a good shave. Sometimes it hurts to do it, quite honestly. But um, so I'll do that. And then if I know I had a great shave, I'll just apply what I've been really solely using as my aftershave as of recent. And I cannot recommend you guys try this enough. And it is simply Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is unbelievable stuff. It really reduces redness. It feels great. It cools. It tones your face. So like, I don't know. It, it will remove redness. It's not even shaving related. It just does a great job on the face. Um, I've tried the rose, the lavender so far, the original. The cucumber is so far my favorite. It's the most refreshing. Um, when I try the coconut, um, but man, you know, I, I kind of would like to get a little mini, mini fridge in my, uh, in my uh, bathroom and just throw this in there and just throw this on the face after a shave. I just feel like that's the best aftershave you can use. And then, you know, I feel like I'm at the point where I kind of want to pick an aftershave or a cologne and, and most of the time I'm going for fragrance. So it's not like my collection of aftershaves is going unused, but I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not reaching for them as much as I used to by, by a long shot and uh, I love this. And I, I think this bottle is like, I mean, I get them at Whole Foods, I wanna say $10. And, and uh, I've used this for about, oh, a month. So um, do the math, man. This is unbelievably cheap and it's just a great product. So yes, wet shaving can be very expensive. You go down that rabbit hole, but ultimately we got in this to, a lot of people get in this to save money. So you get yourself a quality, um, quality razor, even just a Parker, some good blades, a $15 um, synthetic brush, one of these $12 tubes and a, and a $10 thing of Thayer's and you can get amazing shaves for a really cheap price. But hey, it's also something that's fun. It's a hobby to a lot of men. So get as much as you want. You're certainly, I'm the wrong person to lecture um, about not going overboard when it comes to a hobby. But I did just wanted to give you uh, what works for me now. This might change in a year. I'll, I'll do it again in a year. And maybe I'll be like, no, now I do this and I do that. But this is what's been working for me. I feel like it's very minimalist for me, um, but I've been getting great shaves and uh, definitely um, not spending that much money. God knows I can probably get great shaves the rest of my life and, and never purchase another product, which I'm blessed um, because of this channel. Um, but, uh, but this is where I'm at now. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop me a line. I did my sort of oral care routine and I'm gonna do like a shower routine too in a couple of months or a couple of weeks, probably a month or so. Um, but if there's something else you'd like to know grooming wise, hey, please leave a comment and I promise you I will try to get to it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. My name obviously is Maximilian and I must know. Peace.